All right, welcome to this edition of Eagle Talk. We are here with Mr. Soselski to talk about the Linden Community School Bond. Mr. Soselski, how are you today? Fantastic. How's everybody doing this morning? Pretty good. good. Yeah? You enjoying the weather? It's getting a little warmer. I have a... It is. It is getting a little warmer. I hear the birds chirping in the morning. Right. The sunshine's coming out. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sun's peeking out early. How'd you come up with the name Eagle Talk? It's pretty cool. Um, I don't think it was us. Yeah, that was definitely not us. Oh, it wasn't? <laughs> it was Miss St. Clair. But I think she just, like, took... Eagle, like our mascot, and sure, we're just talking. talking. <laughs> no, that's cool. I th- I saw it the other day when you guys posted. I'm like, that's neat. Mm-hmm. So you guys want to talk the bond, the, bond. the yep. big Linden Community School bond program? No, that's going to be exciting. That's some exciting stuff. It really is to me. It is. Some people are probably <laughs> like, what are you talking about? But I I, I think with the bond and what it's going to do for our school, I mean, it's just going to be the long term effects are going to be amazing. Definitely. So like for obviously those who don't know and even me like what is like can you give like a brief explanation of like what exactly a bond is for yeah so a, a bond in in the terms of school and, and financials uh a bond is basically a way for uh school districts linden community school to ask the community the people of the district because they, they're the taxpayers they're the ones that fund it through the the funding system with the state you know your taxes go to the state they take the funding based on your per per pupil and other categoricals, and then they, they kind of spread it out to all the school districts in the state. Um, and so it's a way for Linden Community Schools to ask our, uh, our community, basically give us the thumbs up so we can more or less take a loan, a bond, <laughs> using okay. that bond. It's, it's, it's like guaranteed that w- that money will be paid back in time. In this particular case, it's a, it's a 25-year payback. Um, so we were able to get that money up front. Our, our community supported the bond and what we're using it for. And so we are able to get that money kind of up front to start the projects that we have going. Some of them you see right now. Some of them you won't see for another couple of years. Gotcha. So, yeah, that thing happening right now, obviously, new building behind the parking lot. And the then big thing. <laughs> the, the big building. <laughs> and then I've heard that this school is getting redone in the next couple of years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, after we leave. How does <laughs> well, you can come back. <laughs> <laughs> you can come back. No, actually, so what we did with the bond, because of the amount of projects, I mean, there are uh, literally hundred. when I say projects, I mean things like, you know, um, redoing the academic classrooms. That's a project. Uh, updating mm-hmm. our technology. That's a project. So we've got a lot of projects. Buying new furniture for all the classroom, that's a project. So we what we did is uh, in order to kind of um, allow for, for flow, you know, with construction, with, with uh, resources, um, and then just obviously within the schools so we didn't get too uh, tangled up <laughs> tripping over one another, um, we, we separated the bond kind of into three phases. So what you're seeing right now is the first phase. And actually, you saw some of the completion, the completed projects already. Uh, the student parking lot, the yeah. front parking lot. Uh, you see the multi-purpose center out behind you. Did my microphone go off? Yeah, so it sounds good. like it. <laughs> okay, as long as you can hear me. Yeah, you're good. Um, <laughs> you, you, uh, the now it's back on. <laughs> the multi-purpose center, uh, and then Linden Elementary was part of that. I mean, we took Linden Elementary right down to the concrete and the brick walls, yeah. uh, emptied everything out, and then have built it back up, and it's, I mean, we're not there yet. It's a marathon. You know, I, yeah. I keep trying to tell people what we're doing is a marathon, um, and at the end of the marathon, obviously, you know, you were going to cross the finish line. It's going to yeah. be great. I think it's really cool that it all goes back and helps the students. I think the multi-purpose room is a really good idea. Yeah, the multi-purpose center, that's part of phase one. You're seeing it behind the, the high school right now. Um, you know, we, we, we put that into play for a couple of reasons, you know, um, a, a lot of it was just allowing our students more opportunities, uh, whether it be, you know, just after school, during school, allow our community opportunities to stay connected with our district. Um, you know, that multi-purpose center has literally a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, it's got gym space. It's got the gymnastics program that's going to move there. It's got a walking track on the second level. So community members, our students, uh, you know, if you're there watching, you know, if you're a parent watching your son or daughter, uh, participate in an activity. You could walk around, get some exercise in. We got a fitness center, um, a community education, uh, our Linden Schools Community Education. We're going to move that program to that center. Uh, so, th- I mean, we'll be able to increase the amount of programming that we have with our community education. And sometimes that's as simple as uh, you know how to knit, how to yeah. how to bake, 
um, you know, coloring, oh. painting, photography, uh, and then they got they got youth programming going on. They got adult programming on. Um, you know, we'll have uh, pickleball, for example. Have you ever played pickleball? Yeah. I've played pickleball. Oh, we play that in great. gym class. Do you? Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. So, you know, they they actually already have a pickleball league going, and we've got to we got to move it around to different gyms based <laughs> on other activities that are going on. And so with um, uh, Mrs. Brindle down there in the community ed program, we're really going to blow that up over there and um, really expand our opportunities, not, uh, not only for our community members, but for our students and the staff getting involved. I mean, we've, we've got a whole list of ideas to really use that facility, and it'll open up other spaces around the district as well. Well, I'd really like to come back after graduation, like after it's yeah. all done and finished, see what's going on. It'd be awesome. Yeah, you'll s- well, you'll see some of it. We we anticipate having occupancy about the end of March. You know, you got to go through okay, all cool. the different state certifications yeah. and things like that. Uh, we won't do any big grand openings probably till about May or June, uh, o- only because you know with supply chain and resources, some of the the items that we've ordered may not be here yeah. <laughs> in the in the time frame that we thought. But we'll be able to start using it as soon as we get occupancy. Gotcha. It's awesome. So it's. Not to make this all about just another pickle thing, but it's free to get in. Yeah. Wow. So That's it's a awesome. free Genesis. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and again, it's not, uh, it, it, it is going to, you know, our community, our students, our parents, there's going to be times they're going to be able to just walk in. I mean, we'll have a process to sign in, check in, all that good yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then, um, you know, go use the facilities uh, for whatever purpose they want to. Um, and, and again, it's not like, uh, you know, you mentioned Genesis. No, we don't have the pool. We yeah. don't have the, you know, the 30,000 square foot weight room facility or the indoor track. You know, <laughs> some of that stuff may not be there. But the, the amount of use it's going to get, yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah, There'll finally be a lot of having there. something like that close. Yeah. Like especially for me because I live very close you by. Do. It'll be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, again, that's just part of phase one. You saw, obviously, you guys are experiencing kind of hopefully experiencing some of the benefits of the – of the new uh, parking lot yeah, system and the, and the way we redesigned mm-hmm. that to help with the flow. And then, like I said, Linden Elementary. I mean, that was huge. We got lockers yeah. down there now. Yeah, you showed uh, us the pictures of the library. Yeah, yeah the library now is uh, mm-hmm. the brand new library. Uh, the, uh, and, and again, it's, it's, it's large enough. There's collaboration zones so kids and classrooms can get together and do different projects. And then we've got, obviously, the, liter- the literacy part of it. Um, but not only that, but all the classrooms got redone. New furniture's coming. Um, you know, the speaker systems now in the classrooms. Is, I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> it, it's That's really, awesome. the teachers don't have to scream, you know, um, and it's, it's pretty, it's pretty neat. And then the upstairs, I, did you guys go to Linden now? I did not. Okay. No. The upstairs was where the library was at. And again, that's more open space now for students and classrooms to work on different projects and things. So they really did a nice job. And that's what's going to happen even with phase two is the, the high school. I mean that's the largest project we yeah. have in the yeah. in the whole program. So when is that like being put into motion? It's already started. Okay. The high school. Yeah, we've already started. We've already started with some of the things. I mean, you'll you'll start seeing different vendors coming through the school doing walkthroughs. We already did uh, uh, what's called the bid process. <coughs> you know, with what's going on, for example, in the the high school alone has been broken down into three phases itself. And then the first phase is the, is the southern, uh, I guess it would be the northern part of the building, the academic wing, where all the mm. classrooms are, yeah. as well as the main office area and the, se- the new secure front entrance. So starting probably the day you guys uh, get out of school, um, you know, they'll start demoing uh, that, that uh, north end, of the academic wing, and then really build it back up, new paint. Uh, some areas will get new walls, new ceiling tiles, new lighting. Wow. Uh, technology. That's I mean, awesome. all new technology is coming uh, in the classroom. The smart boards, the the speaker <laughs> systems for your teachers. All right, that's enough. You know, the new, <laughs> uh, new furniture. We have furniture actually. We've been we've been looking at over at the ad building right now. New desks. <laughs> and so. I'm jealous, <laughs> dude. You're s- spoiling these kids. <laughs> so it it is going to be exciting time. But like I said, it's going to be a marathon. Yeah. The new s- the, the the main office that's getting totally yeah. reversed. And the Senior really? Commons, I heard something going on with the Senior Commons. Like, that's going to be the main entrance now? That'll be the main entrance now. Wow. Yeah. Really? You think about it, right? When you walk into Linden High School, now you walk into a cafeteria. True. We're not a, we're not a restaurant. <laughs> you know? And we, and we have a great cafeteria. Don't get me wrong. Our, <laughs> yeah. our food service, our kitchen, uh, it's great. And that's getting all redone as well. Um, but, no, we're, we'll move the front entrance. Um, 
and uh, it, it'll be a secure front entrance, so people there'll be card swipes and check ins and all oh, that. Wow. Not for students. Oh. <laughs> no, not for students. You guys will have access, but you'll still have your your student yeah. access. The camera systems will be uh, already. We we put cameras, security cameras down at uh, Linden Elementary, and it, and they come in handy. And it's not and it's not and people think oh security you got so much crime. No, it's mm-hmm. literally to have eyes on what's going yeah. on. Really, in some cases, has nothing to do with you know doing something wrong. Right. It's just being able to check. Mm-hmm. You know, we have a lot going on in our school systems right now, and it's it's just great sometimes. You know, you're building principal, your teachers, they can't be everywhere all the time. So we rely on our students, and uh, we rely on the cameras and such, you know, <laughs> to help us out, make sure things go well. Yeah. So outside, like, in any of the school building, what is new, I guess, like, that you, like, what are future projects? Well, like, for example, at the high school, yeah. you know, we'll start there. Obviously, the interior over a two and a half, maybe three year process. Uh, like we said, the secure front entrance, the new front entrance, the academic, uh, LAA is getting expanded. Um, so that whole area down there will be for the LAA, uh, a STEM lab. So, you know, okay. where the wrestling room currently is in the maintenance mm-hmm. room, all that will be our STEM lab. Um, so that when you walk in that, uh, it'll be, it'll be neat when you walk in the student, uh, entrance down there yeah. it all be that corner will be glass. So you'll be able to see into like a classroom. You'll see some of the machinery for our STEM lab. Robotics will be down there now. Awesome. Yeah. So pretty excited about that. Yeah, and for the future generations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the courtyard, we're actually going to put a roof over the courtyard. Okay. And that'll all become the, uh, you know, where the windows are, the painted windows mm-hmm. right now for the media center, those will all disappear. So it'll all be one big open space. And there'll be like three big garage doors, like very modern. And okay. so when we want to kind of have, um, you know, if you have a special event going on in the media center, what we know is a media center now, yeah. you can close those garage doors, still use the open area uh, okay. where what you guys think of as the senior commons, mm-hmm. and then still have the event going on in the in the media center. Um, so it most of the time, those doors will be up. It'll all be big one open space. There'll be different benches and seating arrangements, maybe um, like us right now, we could be in that area doing this. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. you know, so um, there'll, there'll be a lot more opportunities for students and collaboration. Um, like, for example, one of the things that you'll see in the future, too, for our band students, um, their lockers. You know, right now you yeah. guys have lockers out in the hallways. They'll have lockers, too, but they'll be wider. They can set their instruments in. That's neat. You oh, know, because cool. you guys go down the hallway, what do you see? Sometimes in the morning, <laughs> you see their instruments sitting by the door. Yep. You know, and it's like, that's not fair. You know, right. we got to figure out an, an opportunity for these students mm-hmm. to be able to secure their instruments. And so, yeah, what a great opportunity to do that. Oh, that's really cool. And yeah. so, so that's some of the major highlights of the high school. Um, the security cameras, the technology alone is going to be what, a, what an upgrade we're going to get with the technology alone. But then Central Elementary, the same thing. They'll get a new secure front entrance. Uh, they'll have some collaboration zones, classrooms. Again, we'll get all redone, furniture, technology. Um, same with uh, Hyatt, Hyatt Elementary. Again, they'll actually move the front entrance at Hyatt Elementary. Really? Yep. And then um, the other big big piece of it is our early childhood center at Argentine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'll actually move with our – you know, you guys at Hyatt where our gymnastics. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So that's moving to the new multipurpose center. Hence the reason we had to oh, put the multi-purpose yeah. center in first. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a problem. I've learned a lot. I've learned <laughs> a lot. But um, so we uh, part of this next process with the second phase is uh, Hyatt Elementary. So we'll we'll basically move the gymnastics equipment out and where the gymnastics center is now, and then where the locker room. Do you remember the locker rooms? Yeah. Uh, um, back to the gym. Yeah. 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 That's that'll all become all redone. And that'll all be our early childhood center now. Wow. And so um, it'll just make a true, really birth the grade three campus between Linden, Elemer- uh, Linden Elementary, <laughs> Hyatt, and, and uh, our, our new early childhood center. And so, you know, the design's been done on that in the different classrooms. There'll be a set, they'll have their own separate entrance. Uh, it'll be a secure entrance because they have, you know, families and, and mm-hmm. youngsters coming, you know, all the time. They got different programming going on. Um, so that, that's another big, big project that'll take place at Hyatt Elementary. What's going on at the middle school? Oh, middle school, man. Uh, really the same stuff. 
Yeah. You know, when we talk about updates to classroom lighting. Now, that's our newest building. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so some of the upgrades that have to take place aren't as, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not, not as big as yeah. what we're seeing in some of our other buildings just because of the age of the building. You know, so when we talk about technology in the high school, it's going to be like brand new. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, uh, technology in the middle school will be an upgrade because gotcha. they, they, they have some, you know, upgraded uh, features. Uh, but again, there'll be, you know, some of the classroom furniture, we may not have to replace all the classroom furniture uh, because through our sinking fund over the years and our facility needs, we've been able to update some things. Um, but again, being our newest building, there there'll still be updates done. You know, again, they have a secure front entrance, but we're gonna we're gonna add a little bit more to it and a little more security cameras, um, you know, inside the classroom with the smart boards and the, and yeah. the speaker systems and some of the uh, upgrade to our district wide Wi Fi system uh, as well. Um, just as again, you try to be visionary to try to think, you know, what's gonna happen, you know, mm -hmm. when you guys come back to Linden. You know, <laughs> you, you go for go away for a while, you yeah. come back. Um, again, we we definitely want it to be better for our students. You know, every. Every time we do an update or an upgrade, we want it to be better. That's awesome. Is there anything else you think that the students should know? Well, I, th I think what the students should know is, is again, it's uh, especially at different levels. You know, Linden Elementary dealt with it last year with them little kiddos. You know, we mm -hmm. had to move them around, yeah. and uh, and they were great, you know. And, uh, and the same things are going to happen in all our buildings. You know, we're not going to stop school just to right. update. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but at the same time, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, we're doing our diligence to make sure that we're, you know, we're spending the money, the $55 million bond. Um, we're giving our community what we promised them. Um, mm -hmm. And so far we've delivered on that. And I, I think it's a big, uh, I think it's a big feather in our cap to the community of Linden to be able to trust the school district, uh, you know, to, to make updates and add different pieces or resources uh, to an already great school district. So, you know, the community trusted us by, by voting yes on this bond. And, you know, mm -hmm. we need to make sure as a district and as a board that, you know, we're, we're upholding that trust. And, you know, this is what we said we're going to do, and this is what we're going to do. And, and right now we're on target to do that. That's great. That's great. What well, do you guys think about some of the new uh, updates? I think Upgrades it's awesome. and facilities. Kind of bittersweet that we're leaving, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's going to be great. I think it'll be really cool for the students and the community. Even though we might not be able to have it all, like it'll definitely give Linden like a great look. Yeah, it'll I, I agree with you. And we we've got some other programs that we're working on right now, more of a master plan for this this campus, mm -hmm. you know, with different areas being used for different opportunities. And so, you know, there's uh besides the bond project, you know, we're we're working on other projects to make you know, really this uh, a full-fledged opportunity for our students. You know, I think to me that's what it's about, our community. we got the walking path, um, and that's yeah. been, I mean, the amount of people that use that, mm -hmm. and now with the multi-purpose center, you know, and you can walk in, yeah. uh, you know, use the multi-purpose center, the kids are in school, kids get out. And, I mean, it's just going to be fantastic. And the path leads, like, right to the multi-purpose. Right it's next to it. Yeah. 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 And I think the other nice thing, too, with some, you know, when we talk about safety and security, um, and it's everything from weather related to reunification sites that we've been able with the bond and some of the updates that we've done, you know, make sure that we just add more layers to keep everybody safe. For sure. When was the hockey game coming? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, I mean, I think you guys, like you guys know me. I'd love to have a hockey yeah. ring tomorrow. I would. I don't think it'll happen, uh, but no. <laughs> Yeah, you know we've got we've got um, quite a few ice surfaces in a thirty mile radius. <laughs> On so, fifty nine. Yeah, love to get another one here, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Well, I know yeah. some of the boys use the barn too because yeah, they're coach. Not. Yeah, no, it yeah. was great. What an opportunity for those kids. Yeah, you know, Coach Warda did a great job this year with a hockey team, mm -hmm. and then obviously <laughs> with his resources, uh, you know, he was able to bring him into have you know those those uh, individualized or more more specialized practices, which. You know, for anything, whether it be academics or non-academics, the more yeah. you do something, the better you get at it. Yeah, absolutely. It, another question I got, what's yeah. going on with this powder tough deal going on here? The powder puff or volleyball? I, I heard about it yesterday. What's the word but on the I street there? I am very excited. I think it's going to be awesome. I think it'll be fun. Um, it's You can have a team up to, what is it? Like it's six to eight players straight? per team. And yeah. it's Any gender. Boys and girls. Any and grade. then 
Gotcha. Volleyball tournament. Yeah. That's cool. No, I put a team in yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Wait, you can play? Why can't I? I can never play. Going down. I want to build a team so bad. No, you I got a team. Man. No, I got a team. Just me. Oh. All right. Just me. I'm trying to recruit Miss Nestor. I don't know if you guys mm-hmm. know. She was a, a college volleyball player, yeah. uh-huh. Miss Mason. The ringer. But, you know, I, I, I told them the other day that I, I just think I can do it by myself. I don't Understood. really, you know, we'll maybe see. need their help or something. You versus Maddie? No, oh, just me versus every, all the teams. I, I'll just walk right through the bracket. And so, but no, I'm pretty excited about that. I think I've been really working cool. out, training hard. And so it'll, it'll be fun. No, I, I, I heard about the powder. I, that's, that's awesome. You guys uh-huh. are doing that. That'll be great. Shout out student council. Is that yeah. who put it on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, big shout That's out. Awesome. Kudos to them. Great idea. Yeah. So, no other than that, I don't have any other questions. Me either. I think that's it. Awesome. No, I appreciate you guys wanting to talk about the bond. I think students getting involved, um, students getting, you know, having that knowledge, mm-hmm. have those conversations so they know, especially, you know, like I said, you guys, it'll really start. It started now here at the high school. You'll yeah. really see a difference uh, June 3rd. I think June second is our last day, yeah. and then June third, um, you'll see a huge difference in what the building looks like yeah. uh, when they start kind of moving things around. That's literally, the day we graduate. Yep. So yep. it's like. <laughs> yep. But again, really that's that's it. the north end. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it'll be. Yeah. No. No. We. But you have to though, right? Because we have the summertime. True. You know, we've got yeah, two and yeah. a half, maybe three months. Uh, to really bring in the you know the workers and the and and um you know working with Barton Mallow. Uh, bring in the the construction companies, you know, and they like they did at Linden L. They did a great job down there. Like the same thing here at the high school, and then you guys will start back up in August, and uh, man, the teachers will be ready to rock and roll. Yeah, yeah you guys will yeah. be gone. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely come back and check it out. For oh, sure. for sure. Yeah, definitely come back. Yeah, thanks for joining well, us. Today. Thank you. No, thank Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Thank Linden. It's it's uh, a great opportunity for everyone. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Thanks, everyone, for listening in today, wherever angle we're at. <laughs> <laughs> I know I stared yeah. at you guys the whole time as yeah, we were talking. I didn't look But that's okay. <laughs> and you can send us off. All righty. Everybody have a great day. And as always, go Eagles.